If you ask any of the members of my family to describe us, each would likely include our dog in that description. Our current dog, Sasha, was discovered at the Humane Society by our daughter, Julia. I asked Julia, why do you think our dog is good for us? She quickly came back. Sasha is playful and joyful, yet calming, soothing, relaxing, and comforting. She said, Sasha is sad when you're sad and happy when you're happy, a companion that loves you unconditionally. And on top of all of that, she is so cute. Our son Preston points out how the dog protects our home by bark warning us of intruders and cleaning the floor of bug alluring food spilled from the dinner table. Our son Carter referenced how the dog says to us in dog speak, car ride, I want to go. Or family is home, hooray. Carter says it has something to do with her innocence, blind faith, and pure enthusiasm. The four dogs I have loved in my lifetime each could be described by those same descriptors. It doesn't matter whether a person is emotionally devastated or filled with confidence, everyone can use a little companionship and unconditional love, especially during the lonely times that we all face from time to time. Different than a loving pet is a specially trained service dog. Service dogs are guide dogs to help direct those who are blind and hearing dogs to help alert those who are hearing impaired. Dogs can pull a person in a wheelchair, protect a person having a seizure, remind a person with mental illness to take their medicine, and calm a person with post-traumatic stress disorder during an anxiety attack. Recently, miniature horses have been helpful for some disabled and after special training are being accepted as service animals as well. Service dogs and sometimes miniature horses are allowed in places which serve the public, like restaurants or libraries. To allow this, however, the dogs and horses must be certified as specially trained and the disabled must fulfill certain requirements as well. Separate from these service animals are animals providing comfort and emotional support. Comfort animals are allowed to live in housing that has a no pets policy. When a medical professional certifies that the individual has a verifiable disability and that the animal provides a benefit. Different from service dogs and miniature horses, comfort and emotional support pets do not need special training. No question, our dog Sasha provides plenty of comfort and emotional support.